Hello and happy Easter. It's great to see you all. Um, I just thought I'd record a quick message to say hi to you all and just to thank you so much for all your prayers and love and support over these last few weeks. Um, I'm still resting and recuperating, but I hope to be uh, back at full strength soon and back with you all as much as we can be. Um, the team have been amazing in my absence. They've done a brilliant job and um, and uh, keeping you all connected. And I hope you are finding some great new ways to connect with each other and um, ultimately just remaining connected with Jesus and I hope the truth of those words, that there is nothing in all of creation that can separate us from his love, really resonate with you today on this Easter day. God bless and hopefully see you soon. Hello and welcome to our Easter day service where we are going to celebrate together that Jesus is alive. He has risen from the grave and his love lives in our hearts. We have got a fantastic service lined up for us and we're really looking forward to worshipping together. I'm Anna, I'm the curate here at St John's and if it's your first time connecting with us for a community we are so delighted to have you with us and you are really welcome. I'm just going to pray for us as we begin. God of glory, by the raising of your son you have broken the chains of death and hell. Fill your church with faith and hope. For a new day has dawned and the way to life stands open in our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we're going to celebrate together that Jesus is alive. And I'm going to say, the Lord is risen. And you respond by saying, he is risen indeed. <laughs> it would be amazing if all the children could shout at the top of their voices. So let's do that together. The Lord is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Amen. Let's worship together. Welcome to our St. John's Sunday service online. My name is Lewis and I'm one of the trainee vicars at St. John's and a very happy Easter to all of you that are tuning in wherever you're tuning in from. In today's service, we're going to have times of prayer and reflection. We're going to worship together and we're going to have an Easter message from Anna. We believe that Jesus is alive and that he is risen and that as we worship together during this service, that he wants to meet with us and speak to us. So we're going to pass over to James, our worship pastor now in his living room, to lead us in some family worship.
We've been working hard over the last few weeks to put all of our content and community online. And so we'd love to encourage you, if you haven't done so, to check out our website and our social media pages for more information. We've also launched our Renew Reflective service on Friday nights at 6.30 uh, as a way of starting and marking the weekend. Also, if you need any support at this time, please do let us know as our Corona care team would love to get in touch and support you in any way. We're now going to hear an encouraging story of what God is doing in our community. Hello everyone, we are the Harrises who live in Hampton and we have been spending lots of time together during the lockdown. Yeah. Happy Easter um, and uh, the God has uh, helped us to um, have fun together as a family and the children have still been learning new things and we've been getting our work done and now we are on an Easter break. Um, and um, and God has been very kind to me and 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 guess what today I got my new colour guide to be. And, and one of the things we've been yeah. doing is little assemblies. Um, and one of uh, the big yeah. hit that we've had has been uh, My yeah. Lighthouse. Um, and we've also learned a new memory verse, and we've been practicing that verse. Do you guys want to show? Cool. Everybody should be quick to listen slowly. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry from James 1, verse 12. Yes. Happy Easter, everyone! Happy Easter! Lots Happy of love to everyone! It's so good to be encouraged at this time. We're now going to pass back over to James and his living room to lead us into more worship. And as we do that, why don't we take a moment now to pray together and invite God's presence to fill us. Heavenly Father, thank you for your goodness. We thank you that you are risen and alive and with us now as we worship you. We pray, come Holy Spirit. Amen. my mind to Calvary where Jesus bled and died for me where I see his wounds his hands, his feet my saviour on that cursed tree his body bound and drenched in tears they laid him down in Joseph's tomb the entrance sealed by heavy stone Messiah still and all alone don't raise the name of the Lord Yeah, he rose again. Oh, 
take a moment to pause and to reflect and to pray together for our world. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you are doing in this time and we ask God that you would continue to protect and guide those countries across this world that are struggling and that are in conflict. We ask that you would continue to give leaders in our world wisdom and guidance at this time. We thank you for those keys workers in our country that are working hard to protect and to look after those that are in need, ill and vulnerable. And we just take this moment now in our hearts to think of those that are in need in our lives. Heavenly Father, continue to protect, to comfort and to guide each one of us in this season. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We're going to now uh, hear our Bible reading for today and Anna is going to bring us our Easter message. Hi everyone, I'm Sasha and I'm going to be reading from John 20 today. I'm going to be reading from verses 1 to 10. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene went to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the entrance. So she came running to Simon, Peter and the other disciple, the one Jesus loved, and said, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we don't know where they have put him. So Peter and the other disciple started for the tomb. Both were running, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent over and looked in at the strips of linen laying there, but they did not go in. Then Simon Peter came along behind him and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen laying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. The cloth was lying there in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who, out, who had reached the tomb first also went inside. He saw and believed. They still did not understand from scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. 
as we each entered this season of lockdown that we entered into a couple of weeks ago, we will have come with our own fears and concerns and worries. And one of my fears was for our eight and a half year old daughter, Eva, who is an only child. And I was concerned that she would become frustrated and bored by spending weeks on end at home with her boring old mum and dad. I even found myself feeling guilty at times that she didn't have a sibling to play with. And what's been amazing is to see before our very eyes how she has grown and thrived and flourished over the last couple of weeks simply because she's had time in a different way with her mum and dad. And I began likening this to how God is with us. Now there will be lots of people surmising and seeking to give a, a, a sense and a shape to what we think God might be doing and saying in this season. But I wonder whether, quite simply, God just wants to show us how much he loves us. That simply being with him, being in his presence, is where he wants to, us to be. That this is enough. No striving, pushing, achieving or perfecting, but allowing his love and his presence to be poured into our hearts. Just as Eva has flourished as she's benefited from spending more time with her mum and dad, the same is the case for us, that, that we too can flourish as the sons and daughters that God has made us to be. And Easter Day reminds us of all that God has done out of his love for us, that he gave up his one and only son who hung upon a cross so that we might live and rest in the fullness of his love. In these dark and difficult days, maybe that's the thing that he wants to do in our lives. That we might truly grasp what it means to be loved and held by him and for that to be enough. I'm drawn in this passage that we've had read to us today to wonder how the disciples must have felt when they ran to Jesus' tomb and it was dark and empty and they must have wondered where has our Lord gone, where has his body gone? And we might find ourselves resonating right now with their experience that in a, in a way too we are looking into this dark and empty tomb that on a human level seemingly offers no hope or certainty. But then the disciples discover that the tomb is empty because their Lord and their friend, he is alive and he has risen and he appears to them in the fullness of his glory and it changes everything. Because this place of darkness and emptiness and uncertainty has now become a place of light, of hope and of resurrection. I wonder if you have ever had a dark night in your life. My darkest night became my greatest gift. And I probably had the darkest night of my life when I gave birth to our wonderful daughter, Eva. And I became very close to losing my own life. And as I lay in the hospital bed that evening, feeling traumatised, in pretty bad shape, acutely aware of how close I had become to losing my life, feeling scared and afraid. Out of the darkest of nights came the greatest of gifts, my beautiful daughter Eva, who is safe and well. And in that night and in the days that followed, God held us both in his tender and loving care. 
This is the story of Easter. This is why we rejoice and celebrate today because out of the darkest of nights came the greatest of gifts. Jesus who was brutally, brutally crucified and buried, lying, lying dead in the tomb, rose to life three days later and is alive today and forevermore. He defeated the power of death and sin so that we might rise to new life with him forever. He was the first fruits of resurrection so that we might too follow and live with him forever. One of the terms that St. Paul, um, who has authored many books um, in the New Testament, one of the terms that he loves to use is being in Christ. And on this Easter Sunday, we remember that to be in Christ is to be in hope. To know that however bleak and uncertain our situation might be right now, by being in Christ, we have the resurrection hope living in us. Which means that this new life will always come. It will always be available to us when we are in Christ Jesus because death does not have the final word. Love wins because the love of Jesus defeated darkness and death. The love of Jesus defeated our mistakes and the things that we've messed up, what we call sin, so that we might have the greatest of life his resurrection hope living in us. Love always wins the day. The resurrection of Jesus means that we will live in eternity with him forever. But resurrection hope is not only a future promise, it's a present reality. The resurrection of Jesus is a game changer this day and every day. Jesus died to save us, the most outrageous and inconceivable act of love, so that we might live, so that we might have a relationship with him every day and grow in the fullness of his love as we recognise him as our Lord and Saviour. All we have to do is say yes to him. Yes to the resurrection life that he, that he offers to each one of us today so that we might have a hope and a future that is safe and secure in his hands. Amen. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you gave up your life for us that you paid the price for each and every one of us as you hung on the cross, as you bore our sin and our shame, our mistakes, so that we might have life and have life to the full, so that your resurrection life might live in us. And we thank you for your everlasting love. We thank you for your eternal hope that lives within us. And we hold on to that today, Lord, in the midst of these uncertain and difficult days. We hold on to the hope that we have in you. And Lord, we ask that we would daily present ourselves before you so that you might shower your love upon us. Would you help us do that in this season? Would you help us be still and be present before you so that we might receive your incredible love into our hearts and lives this day and in all the days to come. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.
draw this Easter service to a close, the uh, youth of St. John's are now going to lead us in the Lord's Prayer, the words that our Saviour taught us. So let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord, now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. 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 We're now going to pass back to Anna to give us our final Easter blessing. I would love to pray a final blessing over us today. Um, you might want to just put out your hands before you as a sign, as a symbol of receiving this blessing from God over you today. God the Father, by whose love Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe the gates of everlasting life. God the Son, who in bursting from the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share this Easter faith. God, the Holy Spirit, who fill the disciples with the life of the risen Lord, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and all whom you love this day and in all your days to come. Amen and Happy Easter! Well, from all of us at St John's, a very happy Easter to all of you. Wherever you've been tuning in from, it has been great to have you for our Easter Sunday service online. Just to encourage you again to check out our website and social media pages for more information. 
but we hope you have a great week and we look forward to seeing you again next Sunday.